What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hampstead, North Carolina at Future Homes and we are standing inside of probably one of my all-time favorite modular homes. Now before we get started, I need you to go down and pull the like button's armpit hairs and when it wakes up, I need you to take a big old handful of dandelions and smack it across the face. All right, this is it right here. Look at the outside of this thing. It is stunning. Now this is the Carolina. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2139 square foot home. And look at the porch on this thing, beautiful. Now, going all the way around the home, you do have this kind of tan vinyl siding, which you see down here on the bottom. And then up top, you have this beautiful dark blue board and batten siding. And then even higher up towards the top of the gable, you have some shake shingle siding. Now we're gonna get up onto the porch in just a little bit. I'm gonna take you around the house I hope you're having a great day, enjoying some of this beautiful weather. I hope it's still pretty. But nice brick foundation down here. Uh, this one's got a, looks like a little bit of a crawl space down there. But nice big windows on the side of the home over here. And when I walked into this home, this was, this was it. Now a lot of these are kind of coastal style homes which I absolutely adore. Obviously, I would prefer living in the mountains, but for some reason, uh, I also like coastal homes. Uh, I'm one of the types that I go to the beach and there's only one thing that's happening to me, and <laughs> that's getting sunburned. So I try not to go to the beach if I can avoid it, although I know the kids and Jen, they all love going to the beach. So who am I to deny them? I just have to lather up and hide under an umbrella all day. Now coming around to the other side of the home, you do have another back door over here. Uh, you can have a porch added or a deck or whatever the case may be. And then you have a couple more windows over here uh, coming out of the main living space. Now as future homes go, I am so thankful that they allowed us to come down here and tour some of their homes. They have some amazing homes. Uh, they have two different locations and they serve Eastern North Carolina uh, over here on the coast. So really nice, uh, really nice folks. And then of course their models are, I mean, I'm so happy that Jen was able to find these because they've really turned out to be incredible. Now on the porch, we got a couple rocking chairs up here. So you do have some space and then you could probably get another couple rocking chairs uh, over on the other side if you wanted to. Got a couple recessed lights up here and then this just beautiful blue front door. I love it. Now when you walk into the front of this home, this is what you were greeted with. So you have a nice open concept down here with your living room, your kitchen, and your dining room. I'll go ahead and turn you around and let you see what the entryway looks like. So this is the door that's gonna come from your front porch. And we'll go ahead and start over here in the living room. So just nice, bright, and airy, just really nice neutral colors. You have these wonderful vinyl plank floors right here. I love like the white tans and grays, which are really nice. And then a whole bunch of windows that just kind of wrap around the living room. So it feels really nice, really cozy, but at the same time, like you walk in here and you can almost smell, you know, the mist of the ocean. Of course, that's probably one of their plugins. <laughs> but uh, back behind the, the living room, you do have this really nice, ship lap and then that kind of hides the stairs going up to the second floor which we'll get to in a little bit the one nice thing about this home uh, especially for all of those that don't want to climb stairs it does have a first floor master bedroom so i really appreciate that and then coming into the dining room area really nice space for a table i love the light fixture up here And then again, surrounded by windows. From there, you easily transition into the kitchen with this really nice island right here. 
It's got four stools and then this beautiful countertop. On this side of the island, you have several drawers, soft clothes, and then the cabinets below it, also soft clothes. So that's nice. Then you have this double compartment stainless undermount sink, nice black fixture, removable spigot head, you have a dishwasher in here also, and then some more cabinets. And then you have these really fun pendant lights with a coffered ceiling up above it. And then on the opposite side, you do have, I, this is probably going to be your pantry, but it's beautiful wood color and then you have these stainless pools also and then the counter space going around the rest of the kitchen and in the uppers you have these two windows right here that sit which is pretty neat looking they sit right up above the these two sets of cabinets I like that and then you also have some more room around the rest of the cabinets that you know you can decorate and stuff but a whole lot of counter space, beautiful glass tile backsplash back here. Really like that. I almost thought this was a lazy Susan, but corner cabinet. We'll open some of them, see what all they have in store for us. But then you have your stove and your microwave and then some more cabinets before you get to your refrigerator so really nice kitchen and then as we work back we're gonna go ahead and stay downstairs and then we'll go upstairs last uh, upstairs is really cool though too but right off of the kitchen you do have like a little cleaning closet you know put your brooms your mops or you come over here and as your guests come in they can hang up their coats and stuff and then venturing further down the hallway to the left, you come to the master bedroom. Really nice size. Great big windows in here. Makes it super bright. And then over here to the right, right after you come in, you have a nice walk-in closet. Could you imagine having this thing close to the beach or something, or maybe even like a cool little lake house. Especially, I mean, even if the kids are moved out, you know, you still have downstairs, you can still hang out and maneuver. And upstairs, you can have the, you know, all your friends or relatives or grandkids or whatever come over. I think that's, that's nice. I would love this home. Double vanity in here in the master bedroom, one over on this side, one on the opposite side. And look at this tub. Oh my goodness. Sits right below this beautiful picture window. It's got the backrest over here too. Real nice. And then back behind us, you have your shower and it has this really nice rainfall shower head up there right over the middle of the shower and then you have your normal shower head right here and then the tile surround kind of a nautical look to it with the little accent tiles and then next to that you have your linen closet I think we cabinet I'm always confused on what to call these things and then you do have some space up above that if you wanted to put something. And then right next to that, you have your water closet with your toilet. It's so weird doing the master bedroom first because it's like, all right, I'm done. But <laughs> it's like, oh, this has a half bath. So two and a half bath, three bedroom, two and a half bath. Whoopsies. So you do have at the end of the hallway, which is nice, you have your toilet right here, and then you have a pedestal sink. So that's cool, it's 
you know, you can close off everything to your bedroom and the people downstairs can still utilize the facilities. I thought that was locked for a second. I'm like, why is the closet door locked? But opposite that, you do have another storage closet right here. And then you come into your utility room. Nice deep wash basin over here. Changing table, little storage area. And then you got some more cabinets in here also. And then there is some space up above it. And then you have your back door. And then on the opposite side, you have your washer and dryer hookups. But I mean, look even at the door casings, right? How often do you see that on a modular home? I like it a lot, it looks really good. And then you have crown molding going all the way throughout this home. And then we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs, which is really nice. It's almost like this could be um, like a one, just one of the, a one bedroom home downstairs and then you have all this unfinished upstairs attic space but finished it up and it looks really nice so up above us you did have access to your attic and then you have your second full bathroom single vanity vanity light toilet and then you have a shower and tub combo And out of there, you do have another linen closet. And then you come into the first bedroom upstairs, which this one sits all the way towards the back of the house, opposite the front door. Really big size room. You do have the angled ceiling right there from the roof. And then you have these double closet doors where the roof pitches down in here also but nice size and it looks like you probably have access to some part above the first floor over there but this space right here you know if we put some desks or something the kids got somewhere to go to do their homework or uh, whatever the case may be and it just keeps wrapping around i mean you could just turn this into like their own little den area and what we saw in that closet probably looks pretty similar to this it's just a little bit of extra storage space if you wanted to put some stuff in there and then into the third bedroom again this one sits right at the front of the house so this would be over the front porch uh, and the living, well, I guess not, because you have the, the roof right there for the porch. So this sits over the top of the living room and dining room area, and then into its closet. So it's pretty much an identical match. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Like I said, I think this is probably one of my favorite that we've toured. If you want any more information on this model or future homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. And if you wanna check out another one of future homes, beautiful models here that they have on location, go ahead and click on this video right here. As always guys, my name's Timothy and I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.